All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double unto the elder apostles and bishops and the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the fellow laborers of the hopeful elect of the tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. And uh, this is going to be based on this uh, article about a woman who said that she had a a dream where an angel actually showed her, you know, some um, events that are going to happen in the uh, the next year. And, um, you know, normally, like the scriptures tell us, um, fools lift up, um, it's like your dreams lift up fools. But, um, it's not always necessary that case, especially if it lines up in accordance with what the prophecies and the scriptures already say. All right. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually. Um, I'm going to get this in the book of Joel. <clears throat> this is uh, the book of Joel, chapter two. In verse 28, and it says, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. So that's what you're going to see happening in these last days. You know, the Lord increasing his spirit. And, uh, you know, his people was going to, you know, have these uh, prophetic dreams, you know, dreams about the so-called apocalypse, you know, all these different um, end time events happening, taking place. And you know, a lot of brothers and sisters, you know, over the last few years or so, you know, they've been having all these type of uh, dreams and visions, you know, whether it's about um, Babylon's destruction um, civil unrest, martial law, uh, you know, internment camps, concentration camps, people get uh, thrown into those camps, prisons, um, you know, the chariots, you know, you name it. This is all part of uh, prophecy. And like the Lord told Habakkuk, the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it'll speak and not lie. All right. And that's how the Lord, you know, reveals his counsel, you know, through these visions that he has. And he usually um, gives that insight or intel to his prophets, his servants, the prophets. Surely he would do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. OK. So, uh, you know, expect more of this, you know, I mean, we've been seeing it but you're going to see it more you know because we're at that time okay and the lord he's the one that uh declares the end from the beginning let me get a uh, isaiah 46 and 9 and 10 it says remember the former things of old for i am the power and there is none else i am the power and there was none like me Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. All right. So. <clears throat> in this article, you know, I'm not going to read the entire article, but. It was four major things that this woman claimed that she had. Uh, been told by an angel in her in her dream. And, uh, you know, we don't know the ins and outs. You know, it could be true. It could, you know, um, it seemed vivid. And, you know, if this woman, you know, she could be a Jake or she could be, you know, a heathen. Because uh, heathens, you know, they have visions too. We know that with, uh, with Balaam. You know, he saw the vision of the end. He saw Jacob's come up and, uh, you know, overpowering uh, the nations and and, and you know, the rulership, the government, 
you know, forming within our people and Yahweh Shai being that particular ruler, how we're going to do valiantly against the nations and they ain't going to be able, be able to do nothing against us. You also had um, the vision of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, you know, when he had the, the dream of the, the, the four, uh, the four part um, statue. And he also had the other vision, which was of the same thing, but it was in a form of four beasts. All right. And uh, which Daniel, the spirit was on him to actually break down with these four different things mean. All right. So <clears throat> heathens can have visions too. Okay. So anyway, um, it says, are you ready for complete and utter chaos to break loose in 2024? I am. <laughs> I'm ready to get this over with, man. You know, because, uh, you know, this world is uh, it's super dark. You know, gross darkness covers the people as it, as it is written. You know, um, scripture says, second is just 15. Um, the, the, the wickedness is excessive. All right. Um, which they uh, wickedly exercise. And the Lord is not going to um, hold his tongue as concerning their wickedness. You know, so all has got to be uh, uh, addressed. And that's why utter chaos is definitely coming to these streets. These people are they're 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 in their pride and they're comfortable because not enough has happened yet. So it says in this article, I am going to share with you a very alarming video that a friend sent over. I watched the entire video and it really it really resonated with me. A woman says that an angel showed her four major things that are coming in 2025 and all of the major things that this woman was shown have also been seen by others. In recent years, people all over the world have been having supernatural experiences in which details about important events that are going to happen in the future are revealed. And this is something that I have been documenting for a long time. Unfortunately, most of the global population is not interested in such warnings here yeah, because they're in, they're in gross darkness. All right. Darkness, you know, covers these people. They're, they're in their great ignorance. And a lot of them are uh, blinded spiritually, you know, and um, it's just like in the days of Noah. You know, they, they ignored the warnings from uh, Noah, you know. Cause he was out there preaching while he was uh, building that ark and they was eating and drinking and married and giving in marriage all right carrying with business as usual in sin until noah finally entered into that ark it's gonna be this it's the same way this time it's gonna all all these uh messages these signs is it's, it's gonna continue to be ignored Okay, that's why the scriptures say in Second Edges eight and fifty, many great misery shall be done to them in the latter time, that walked on the earth in these latter days because they have walked in great pride. So, these people are getting ready to face it. All right, and uh, it tells us in Second Edges fifteen, you know, not to, uh, you know, uh, let not the incredulity of them trouble us, because they all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness their unbelief okay it says the video that contains this woman's account of what happened was posted by joseph the great joseph of the great miracles avenue youtube channel i have come across a number of his videos before and i really like the guy he doesn't speak english very clearly but thankfully you can easily follow along with what he is saying because his words are there for you on the bottom of the screen if you have a few minutes, I very much encourage you to watch the entire video. And this is uh, the channel right here, the video. Let me see. There have been a lot of predictions of what is going to take place in 2025 and beyond. I know you've heard a lot of them. There have been a lot of prophecies going on in most churches and even on the internet talking about events that are likely to take place in the year 2025 and beyond. 
Now, in this video, I am going to share with you a vision that a certain woman sent in. And, you know, it's actually... And hopefully, you know, we actually get to see, you know, going into 2025, you know, because it, it could, this thing can probably pop off, you know, towards the, uh, the fourth quarter of the year. You know, especially with the uh, this being so-called election year, you know, and we about to see what's getting ready to happen. But it's, it's looking like disaster is coming. You know, this dude Biden, he steps down because they knew he was on a mental and physical decline. And then now it's rumors that, you know, he's in hospice and he might not even uh, be alive or he's on his deathbed. And, you know, he he he, he might still be breathing, but. He's on his way out. And now you got uh, Kamala being endorsed, you know, and that's a disaster in itself. <laughs> you know, her being uh, a, a qualified candidate to run for uh, the president. You know, we didn't see that whole for, for, for all for the last four years that they've been in. You know what I mean? When, whenever you saw her, you know, she cackling and laughing and not saying much. But now all of a sudden, you know, she's she can run now. And then you might see uh, Hillary, you know, she might pop back up on the scene. They, you know, they, you know these women, they really <laughs> they, they really think that they about to get it. And I wouldn't be surprised. Either way, that's uh, that that's we, we know that that's bad. But um, everything is lining up. You know, all of the uh, disaster that took place this year with all these uh, and we still in the middle of the summer, all these uh natural disasters, you know, the hurricanes and tornadoes, that's affected a lot. That's affecting uh your supply chain. Your food growth is affected by that. Then we also heard about Trump promising uh, full immunity to uh, law enforcement. He gets in. And they already cutting up. You had a so-called black woman in her own home who called the police. All right. For help. I don't know. If, I think it might have been a, uh, an intruder or a, bur a, a burglar or wh whoever. She called the police and they show up. In her own home. And <laughs> let's just say they wasn't kind to that woman. She thought that they was going to come to her rescue. And let's just say a uh, tragedy sh uh, struck. Okay. They told her to put the pot down and she had a pot. What, what, what uh, threat did she really pose to, to, to these armed officers? Dude told her she was going to shoot her in the face. And then told her, you know, she had a pot in her hand and told her to put it down and they had their guns drawn. Then she leap, she leaps, uh, she kneels down with the pot. And they just start blasting her, <laughs> you know, shot her in the head. After the officer already said he would shoot her in, 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 in the head. So we can see that that tension is going to definitely uh, it's going to run a muck throughout Babylon. All right. Y'all ready for your cruel Lord? Because Trump is going to be that. And you're going to see more of this behavior that you're going to see more of that behavior. Get you niggas riled up. But anyway. We're going to see, man, because it can it can very well start the fourth quarter of this year going into 2025. Remember, this uh, the, the Apostle Tahar through the spirit coin this year, the hopeful year of uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. And, uh, you know, we know that Jacob's trouble has get it real quick. That's going to be one of the uh, this is going to be one of the worst times, if not the like yeah, the worst time. That the world has ever uh, experienced since the world began. Uh, Jeremiah.
um, Salakia. Jeremiah 30. And I'm going to start at verse 5. And it says, But thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask you now, and see whether a man doeth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins, as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So it's going to be a very, very devastating time. Very uh, tragic, you know, very um, gloomy time. You know, a time of distress, anguish. You know, mental, physical pain. People taking the L's left and right. Financial hardship. All right. Chaos in the streets. Instability. So, you know, you Jakes, man. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna come to the realization that you should have listened to the prophets when they were out there warning you while you was out there you know, uh, mis mistreating them, misusing the prophets, scoffing and talking shit, finding this uh, entertaining. You're going to find out, man. All right, we've been sending them up on this place anyway, and now the Lord is is, is answering. And y'all y'all finna see it. So... <clears throat> Let's go to Matthew 24 real quick. And it says, Matthew 24 and 21, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So that's how uh, devastating it's going to be. You know, the Lord's going to have to speed up the times and shorten the days because if he prolonged this tribulation, nobody would uh, make it, especially at the rate this devil is moving because it tells us in Revelation 12, you know, that the devil is going to come down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. So he's coming, you know, with, with uh, disaster. A lot of it is orchestrated. These famines is, is orchestrated. You know, him using um, weather warfare, that's, you know, he, he's using uh, weather modification technology for a lot of these disasters because he wants to create famine. It's all part of his uh, agenda because he wants uh, everybody to be completely dependent upon him for the new world order. OK. So, you know, that that's definitely a device starvation. But anyway, let's uh go back. So that was the video, you know, and um, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to it in the description if y'all want to actually watch the video. All right, and he, he has an accent, so I'm not sure where he's from, but uh, he, he can very well be a Jake. You know, he, he, he appeared like a Jake. But anyway, it says um here, According to our testimony, this woman had a very unusual supernatural experience on March 26th. She got home from work about at about 9 p.m. and she was quite exhausted. She decided to take a shower and as she was getting out, she fell and hit her head. Then she had some dinner and went to bed. At about 11 p.m., she heard a voice calling her. A little bit later, she once again heard a voice calling her and this voice was coming from outside. But she didn't want to go outside to see who was saying her name. After that, she was taken into a very deep sleep. And that is when her experience began. At one point during the experience, it appears that she was standing outside of heaven. An angel suddenly appeared before her. And this angel told her that it was not time for her to go inside yet. This really got my attention because this is the sort of thing that I have heard in countless near-death experiences. Was this woman's head injury far more serious than she realized? The angel told her 
that her work on earth had not been completed yet and that she was given a message to take back. In fact, the angel clearly stated that he had been sent to deliver this message to her. The angel explained that in 2025, there will be a lot more hardship than we have experienced this year. This goes right along with what so many others have been shown as well. This woman was told that the people of God do not want to turn away from their sins and that the Most High God has sent warnings, but most have not listened. Yeah, we are our people. They don't want to turn from, from their uh, wickedness, you know. And we've been out there and the Lord been rising us up uh, early and telling them to uh, repent. And they said, we not going to hearken. So like it tells us in Proverbs 1, you know, he has stretched out his hand and no man regarded. Proverbs 1 and uh, 20 says, wisdom cried without, she uttered for a voice in the streets. She cried from the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered for a word saying, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And that's happening now with the prophets, you know, us going out there, constantly warning you. You know, you got different camps out there. You know, whether it's Great Millstone or IUIC, IUICI, PK, Sakari, and whoever else, uh, uh, HOI. And it says, I will make my words known to you. Because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but you have said at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. And that's them turning their ears from hearing the truth. You know, walking past the camps, you know, uh, flipping the bird, you know, flipping us off, rolling by, talking about well, y'all get a job and this, that, and the third, right? Y'all still believe in that book? You know? That's what, that's what we get, especially from our own people. It says, I also will laugh at your calamity, right? I will mock when your fear cometh. That's why the Lord said, uh, woe unto you that laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. You're, it's not going to be a joke anymore. It's not going to be uh, entertaining when you finally face with adversity. All right? You, 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 you men out there that think you tough now, you're going to be crying like hoes. All right. When this time comes. And you ain't going to have no covering, no uh, divine protection whatsoever. The Lord's going to he's going to keep you in these plagues because you, you, you you're proud. All right. Many great miseries shall be done to you in a latter times on the earth because you have walked in great pride. OK. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and 27. It says, I'll start at 26. It says, For the Lord know of all them that sin against him, and therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. Yeah, and you and you that's what you're gonna catch because you refuse to repent. They acknowledge your 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 sins and, and, and turn back to the Lord. You know? You refuse to uh, uh, wrench your hearts and, 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 and turn back to him with, with weeping and, and fasting. As it was in your mind to go astray and be in return, we got to seek him 10 times more. And Jake don't want to do that. They don't want to uh, come into the light lest their deeds be reproved. So they want to continue in their wickedness, man. Worshiping these uh, false idols, false gods. Commit adultery, you know, being moles, being dykes, you know, robbing and stealing and killing. It says, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and you shall remain in them for the most I shall not deliver you because you have sinned against them. So the Lord's not going to deliver you out of these uh, troubles. Only a remnant, only uh, the elect whose names are written in the book is going to be uh, delivered. So, you Jake's got a long road ahead of you, man. But hey, we do too, but we expect that the Lord's going to bring us through it. Okay? He's going to bring us through the fire. 
and we're going to be tried and, you know, we're going to call upon him. And that's how, you know, we're going to be delivered. So uh, going back, verse uh, 28, it says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me early, but they shall not find me. And the Lord, he said that. He said, uh, I, will, I will go and uh, return to my place and hide my face from them. All right? And in their affliction, they shall seek me early. You know, he basically he said he's going to hide his fence and, and he's going to hide his face until you acknowledge your offense. And in your affliction, you're going to try to seek him early. All right. <clears throat> A lot of it is going to be too late for two thirds of them. So they're going to die, man. All these wicked niggas, these pookies and Ray Rays and uh, uh, Big Shirley's and Keisha's. All right, these uh, 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 Latin tribes, because they're just as wicked. Because for they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Okay, so there it is. So going back, it says, uh, <clears throat> she said, um, the angel explained that in 2025, there were.